afraid that he would have taken to a dentist for a toothache. They never found a dentist that treated President Eisenhower. In fact, he was at Edwards Air Force Base. He reached a formal agreement with the aliens and a treaty was signed. <coughs> this was played out in a movie that you saw called Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Everything that you saw in that movie except for finding the ship in the desert and the plains in Mexico and those types of things was true. People were and are still being abducted. People were and are still being picked up and relocated, decontaminated, brainwashed, given new identities, and put back into society in some other location. It's for their own protection, really. In most cases, in some cases, it's a travesty of justice. People are being implanted. The implants were played out by the silly little tune that people got in their head. That represented the implants. They couldn't get this out of their head. They would have a close encounter with an alien disc, and they would hear this tune, and they could never, ever get rid of it. And it drove them to do some crazy things. And there are people today who are being driven to do some crazy things. I know some abductees who wake up one morning after they've had an abduction experience, and they've got to move. And they've got to move to a specific place in a specific state, and they've got to do it right now. And they don't know why. And they've never been there before. And they have no friends there. They don't even know what the place looks like, but they get all their kids, they pack up, and they leave, and they go to Sedona, Arizona. <laughs> Some of them go to Yelm, Washington. <laughs> there are areas in the United States where people are being driven to. They don't know why they're going to these places, but they're going there. Usually they have been abducted. Usually they have been implanted. Well, let me take that back. I guarantee you that everyone who has been abducted has been implanted. And the time that I saw the information between 1970 and 1973, the official Office of Naval Intelligence figures was 1 in 40, which works out to 2.5% of the population. How did they get these figures? It's very simple, ladies and gentlemen. At that time, they still had the draft. At that time, they had draft quotas from every state representing a certain percentage of the population a certain percentage of the population of young men had to be drafted according to the percentage of the total population that lived in that state. When they came in for induction into the military service, they were given an extensive medical examination and even at that time, ladies and gentlemen, we did have magnetic resonance imaging capability, but the military did not put it out to the civilian community as yet. This was a new technique, a new development. 